Good afternoon, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Daniel and Aiden here from Single Mole Jack. Welcome back, mate. Man, thank you. This is uh, it's been an incredible day so far. This is our first whiskey review of the day, so I'm excited. It is, and um, I was going to say it's our first whiskey review of all time, but it's, it's definitely not. We've, done, not. A, we've <laughs> done a couple, haven't we? <laughs> yeah, we have. We have. Go so back to the episodes and tell, check them out. Tell us what we've got because this is a whiskey that you've brought from home. I have, and I've been super impressed. And I really want you to um, let all the viewers know what we've got here today. All right, so you should be familiar with Lark. Uh, Lark is one of the oldest distillers, I believe, in Australia. Um, of course, from Tasmania. It's a single malt. This is a special edition head distillers release, which is courtesy of the Whiskey Club. Uh, Whiskeyclub.com, obviously, they send out some real special stuff. This is a Chris Thompson special. Um, matured in port and sherry casks. Sits about 45.6%, not about, it is 45.6%. Yeah, that's pretty accurate, that's not about, that's, <laughs> that's exactly. That's yeah. bang on. Yeah. Uh, non chill filtered, completely natural, really nice taste, as I said before, from Tasmania. Uh, Take that as a souvenir before you lose it. <laughs> as you're explaining that, I really appreciate the introduction because, I, as I said, I don't know much about this whiskey. Of course, I have tried it. I think they did have a um, a tasting bar in Brisbane. Um, I have tried it a couple of times. I don't know if I've tried this exact one, but I've been a very, very big fan of Lark um, in Tasmania. I think they're just fantastic whiskey. The colour of that is just magnificent, and straight away on the nose. You know, you, you get that that nose, that on the nose straight away, the, the port and the sherry yeah, cast. Yeah, absolutely. You, know, you just you just know that it's been aged in those casts. It's also instantly Australian. Obviously, yeah. Australian whiskies they age very differently compared to uh, overseas, particularly the Scotland whiskies. So this is really really nice and almost pungent in the sense, I guess. It, it kind of hits you and you you definitely know straight away. Yeah, but fantastic taste. I, I don't know if you know the history of the the Lark Distillery, but it's I, actually I got a great story. I do not. Great story behind it. Tell so us about I said, it. I can tell you a little bit. Yeah. Fact check me in the comments if I'm wrong. But uh, <laughs> <laughs> so from my understanding, the Lark Distillery, when it first started, actually started because in Tasmania, mm. whiskey was outlawed. So okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the governor's wife at the time mm. decided that she would rather see whiskey or the hops that they weren't using for food and things like that. Mm given to the pigs rather than make men vile. So it got shut down, all that kind of thing happened, and Lark is one of the distilleries that were shut down during that period. So it's, it is very old. Mm. Obviously, it's, it's not your bakery hill or anything like that, but has an incredible history behind it. I encourage you to check it out, give it a bit of a read. Obviously, try their whiskeys as well, but um, yeah, it's a cool story. I mm. like it, especially for Tasmania. Tasmania, I feel like, gets forgotten about a little bit. They, they do, but I, <laughs> I, I think they've got the climate for whiskey. They you know do. what I mean? They've got yeah. that cool climate. Um, okay, there's a few places in there at elevation, you know, they're yeah. by the sea, it's very coastal. Yeah. Um, you know, anywhere in Australia, I think they could make good whiskey, it's definitely Tasmania. You know, definitely. and as you said, these guys have been around for a while, as you're saying, they're the oldest distillery. And um, I think they make some really, really good stuff. Like, as I said, straight away on the nose, it just hits you with that, that port and sherry. And yeah. it's just a, you know, very, you can tell it's a very typical Australian whiskey, which is very, very different to you know, your Scotch whiskies, your Irish whiskies, yeah. your Japanese whiskies, you know, straight away you go, okay, well, that is, that is definitely an Australian whiskey. You know, it's and on the nose, thing. it's quite, quite sweet, quite syrupy, I guess, yeah, yeah, you know. Yeah. You know, there's definitely a sweetness to it. Um, just trying to pick exactly what it is, like, in terms of that. It goes deeper into the port, I yeah. think, more than the sherry. Yeah, no, I think you're probably right. I hope so. <laughs> I don't know why I'm on the show. What do you think? First taste. I I really like it. I mean, I'm I'm just gathering my thoughts because, mm. as I said, I mean, this is the first time I've I've tried this particular bottle, so I haven't really spent much time with it. I'm just swirling it around the glass and you know nosing it and just just getting to know it a little bit. No, of course. Um, but I'm you know I'm quite quite impressed with it. There's definitely that hit of port. Yeah. So you almost got like that port sort of red winey yeah. type sweetness to it. 
um, you know, that, that sort of tanniness to it. Um, you know, in terms of sort of, I guess sort of like red sweet berries, uh, yeah. grapes, you know. It's, um, I want you know, maybe to say even citrus, a... but I don't think it's no. the right word. No, I don't, I don't think citrus. <coughs> it is quite sort of, it is a bit woody and nutty. There's mm. a bit of sort of nuttiness to mm. it and woodiness to it. You know, I, I don't know. Yeah, that's actually it. Yeah. I don't know if it's, I don't know if it's walnuts or pecans or, or something like that. Um, but there's definitely a bit of nuttiness to it. Um, maybe, um, I wouldn't say lemon, maybe a little bit of that orange type zest to it like a sort yeah. of like a zest, sweet, that's it that's it yeah. like a zestiness to zest, it yeah. and almost even like a bit of a bit of like a, a red wine or a port mustiness mm. to it if that makes mm. sense mm. but I, I don't know how to describe it i mean i'm not you know i'm no expert um we're just particularly in australian whiskeys like it's yeah. very yeah. very different to yeah. um it, it, i guess it, what we're used to it, it really is yeah <laughs> and i think that was a so when i first got the bottle popped it open <coughs> Uh, the first taste I had, a, it really was not what I was expecting, you know, I was expecting, especially at the price point as well, I was expecting something that was a little bit, I guess, softer on the palate. Um, other whiskies in that price point are a lot smoother. Mm. This definitely kind of hits you in the face and it's just like, hey, you're drinking whiskey. Yeah, like, I, 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 I wouldn't call it. it a smooth whiskey, but, no. you know, you, because it is at that alcohol percentage, 45.6, yeah, yeah, I mean, almost 46%, you can put a couple of drops of water in it, it's not yeah. going to hurt it, no. and that's probably going to, you know, just, just water it down a little bit, bring out the flavours a little bit more, um, you know, but I, I just love that, that colour, I mean, it just yeah. looks, it looks fantastic in the, in, the, in the glass, and just swishing it around the glass, it's sort of, it is holding the, the whiskey around the sides of the glass, so there's almost like a little bit of a, you know, a, a porties type of, you know, tannin to it. Um, I, I actually quite like it. I love it. I you know what? What yeah. would someone? What would an average person pay for a, for a bottle of this whiskey? Because it is only a 500 ml bottle. So, so I think for this release, for this release, yeah. uh, you have to be a part of the whiskey club to get okay. it. Yep. So it's a special yep. release. Whiskey club does a lot of things like that. Yep. Um, but <coughs> I think on average, it's between 150 to 195. Okay. Um, so it's not yeah. quite up there yet, yeah. but it's definitely yep. an enthusiast price point. I would say. Yeah. I mean, from from my point of view, if I'm paying more than hundred dollars for a bottle of whiskey, I want that whiskey to really, really hit the mark for me. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. You know, especially if you're paying up towards the two hundred dollar mark between one fifty and two hundred, it has to be an exceptional whiskey. Yeah. You know, is that an exceptional whiskey? I think it's it's almost there. Yeah. You know what I mean? It, it is almost there. I, I don't know if it would be in my top 10. <coughs> Excuse me. But I think it's just sort of hitting the borderline of an exceptional whiskey. For you know, sure. I, I, I think it's, I think it, I think it is at that I think for Australian whiskeys, it Definitely. does quite well. Definitely, yeah. Definitely performs yeah. quite well. Yeah. Definitely has a nice taste. And I like, I like to drink a whiskey and know that I'm drinking whiskey. Mm. Um, it took a lot for me to not drink this before we got here <laughs> this weekend. Um, well, I didn't want to say anything, yeah, yeah. but I, I noticed a couple of nicks. There was a, nicks there was a couple from the bottle. Yeah, there was a couple of jams, that's for sure. <laughs> well, that's okay, it's your bottle. You, no, know, and you had to have a bit of a I preview. Have to say, of course, exactly. I had to know I was bringing something good. I can't, can't come on single more Jack with a terrible no, whiskey. No, that's right, that's right. <laughs> but, you know, I guess in summary, when, when I heard you say, you know, hey, I've got a bottle of Mark, I said, well, I'm excited. You know, let, let's do a whiskey review on it because I'm, I'm really, really excited about it. And um, as you can see, we're here camping, uh, we're at Gordon Country. Got a fire going in the just, background. Just it is a little bit windy. <laughs> no more hail. Skies you know, are blue. We, we've done a couple of beer reviews. Uh, we've just chopped up some firewood. We had the chainsaw out. We've set up camp. Um, so, you know, the, the sun is kind of on and off. But um, I'm really enjoying the, this whiskey, mate. And I really appreciate you coming on the show and bringing this bottle Absolutely. that we can sample. Hey, we'll keep doing it for sure. To the next camping trip. Cheers. 100%. Cheers to that. <laughs> and cheers to you guys. Well, there you have it. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. I, I appreciate it if you like it. Uh, comment if you've got a few comments about what we're saying or if you've got some input. Or fact and check me. <laughs> <laughs> make sure you do that. And we'll see you guys next time. Wait. Hit subscribe. <laughs> cheers. Cheers, guys.